More than one million people in the United States are diagnosed with cancer each year. One in eight women will develop invasive breast cancer during their lifetime. This year alone, over 50,000 Americans will die from colon cancer. But statistics are just numbers until it happens to you. I'd like to introduce to you some of my members of my family. Meet my great-great-grandmother Nellie, my great-aunt Cynthia, Sharon, and Ginny, my grandma Joni, and my aunt Tammy. Each of them have or have had breast cancer. It killed my Aunt Jenny, and my Aunt Tammy is currently battling it today. All of them have had some form of chemotherapy. This is my great-grandpa George. He was a colon cancer survivor after he had a large portion of his colon removed. And now, meet my dad, Mark. Last September, a colonoscopy found several areas of dysplasia, or precancerous cells. In December, Right before Christmas, he had his entire colon removed due to the risk that it would develop into colon cancer. Throughout my whole life, someone close to me has been battling cancer. As I watched my grandmother, my aunt, and my father suffer through all the different treatments that they were forced to endure, I knew that I didn't want anyone else to have to go through this pain as well. That's why, as a Notre Dame engineer, I want to conduct biochemical research to help develop ways to detect cancer earlier to increase the chances of a cure or to locate new ways to attack developing cancer in the body. Now I could do this at any university. Thousands of different labs around the country are devoted to cancer research. However, as a Catholic university, Notre Dame is much more morally grounded than most other institutions. In the search for knowledge, we cannot control the answers, but we can control both how we get those answers and also what we do with them. If one just goes online for five minutes, one can see places where science that ignore the ethics has become a detriment to our society, such as cloning and abortion. As we discover more about cancer, there will inevitably be times where the use of controversial practices would provide a shortcut in experimentation or research. At many institutions, I would be encouraged to use these shortcuts in order to obtain knowledge more quickly, at the expense of my morals. As a Notre Dame engineer, I'll be given a firm understanding of bioethics and my church's positions on moral boundaries of scientific research so that I know, when the time comes, which decision is the right one. I look forward to becoming a fighting Irish engineer, fighting to make a difference in my family and yours. For those who are diagnosed with cancer, will you help me fight?